How's it going guys? Today is a great day because we got some fresh RC car gear and anytime you get some new RC car stuff it is never a bad day. So stick around and check out what we got. Alright, I am super pumped on this um, new transmitter, uh, the M17. It is out of the box suppression, which is what this video is. I'm not really going to go into detail and stuff like that because I'm not a very detailed guy. But anyway, it is awesome. Um, I've had a lot of different um, transmitters, uh, a lot of aerotronic stuff. Um, I've had, you know, a very a good variety. Um, this, uh, the M12, it's not a bad transmitter. Um, I can't say anything bad about it. This thing was my baby. Um, anyone who knows me personally, they know how I am about a tran my transmitter. <laughs> so if you've never taken the, uh, uh, you know, if you've never made the jump for a big purchase, you know, on a high end transmitter, it really does make a world of difference. These things are very, you know, you can tailor them to your exact preference. You know, like I said, I like to run the larger, the slightly larger steering wheel that they, these come with. You know, I angle the trigger and the wheel in together and drop it down. It feels really good, which I think the majority of people actually run their radio that way. For obvious reasons, it shows. And if you do get a high-end transmitter, do not be afraid to try the different stuff. They have different springs, all that stuff. I actually like for my uh, steering and trigger to be very, very stiff. I don't really know how other people prefer theirs, but I just like it to be um, fairly stiff because it just kind of helps smooth out your driving. You know, you don't get that little twitchy twitch on the on the steering wheel or like in your trigger. You know, it kind of helps you have a nice, smooth trigger pull. That's just my opinion. Uh, and I held it off for a long time. I don't know why. Like, so don't be afraid to try different things on your radio because it's just as important as your car setup. If you're not comfortable when you're driving, I mean, if your transmitter doesn't feel good in your hand, it's definitely going to show. But I always just use the grip that come out of the box as the radio come. The thicker one for me, um, I run the trigger far forward and the thicker grip and it made a world of difference. Like I always wanted to hold the radio like really loose in my hand because I really couldn't get the trigger position just quite right. But that made a big difference. And now I'm rambling and I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, this was a great radio. I can't say anything bad about it. Um, it's probably capable of, you know, way more than I'm actually, you know, need, which a lot of these are. But just holding this radio, I mean, it feels perfectly fine until you pick up the new radio. This thing feels so amazing in your hand. It is, I cannot describe it. It is a total night and day difference. This thing is ridiculous light. You will notice it. This isn't just me, like someone sponsored or whatever, like rambling about how great their new product is. This thing is awesome. You will notice it as soon as you pick it up in your hand if you're using the old transmitter. It is it is very it's nice it's it's noticeable <laughs> but yeah pretty much set up the same exact way um you know with the stiffer springs and everything and the thicker grip and this thing feels amazing in my in your hand um i've actually got to run a few cars out in the driveway um so i'm really looking forward to getting some seat time and some track time with this thing because it feels great um this thing's awesome <laughs> But yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty unique. I got the little uh, screen protectors that are actually included. Um, like scrolling through is kind of easy. Like I said, uh, I don't know if it's actually going to focus on that or not. But basically, you know, you can kind of press on and you can kind of kind of move around. So it's it's kind of neat. It's not touch screen, um, which I'm actually thankful for that. Which uh, makes sense to me. You know, if you if your hands are dirty, if you're running nitro or off road. And you touch the screen, you're going to scratch it. So I actually put the protector on the screen, which I'll probably take it off because it does make it have like a little haze to it. It's kind of foggy. Um, so I probably will take that screen protector off. 
once the new wears off a little bit. <laughs> but I did use a protector over here and I'll probably leave it just because um, it, you know, it makes pretty good sense. But like model select is easy. Um, you get right to it. I've already got a lot of my models in here, which I'm very thankful for that because it's, um, I run a, a bunch of different models. So uh, that was one thing I was um, very thankful for. Um, that's the thing. It is, it has so much stuff on it. Like I said, I'm not going to break, go through it. That's, you know, plenty of guys on YouTube who can do that and they're out there. So you can check those videos out. This is just giving you my impression of someone that's, been in the hobby for you know a few years and um i can't say anything bad about it. this radio it feels awesome in your hand it is super fast you will notice a difference i promise you um and it's just it's butter smooth uh, i'm definitely looking forward to it i'm pumped there's some little quirks like this little handle i could see it coming in handy but i will probably never use it um they could have saved the weight in my mind and just not put that on there. I don't think it would really matter. <laughs> but I imagine some people probably appreciate that. Um, like I said, if I have to pick um, one thing to nitpick, if I have to pick something, for me it would be the on and off switch. I know that sounds odd, but you got to kind of hold it for the cutoff. And that's no big deal. It works perfectly fine, as you just seen. But I'm kind of a sucker for just the old school you know, click on and click off. So it's a nice satisfying click and it just goes off. But anyway, yeah, if I have to nitpick, that's pretty much it. But if you haven't checked out this radio, I definitely recommend it. This thing feels amazing. And Futaba has a really nice high end radio. And I was, it almost sold me on the, because you know, they have like the large screen. It looks very, very detailed. Um, but after seeing some other guys opinion on YouTube, I figured I would stick with the brand that I know and love. So that's the thing with the button. Like, and you know, I pressed it and it, you got to kind of hold it for a second. So I don't too much care for that. That's my one, like, so if I have to be picky and that's being very, very picky, <laughs> that's it. But guys, trust me, go check this thing out. You will not regret it. Um, and if, like, if you're on the fence about trying a high-end transmitter, um, don't be. I was the same way when I first got into the hobby. I was like, man, that's you know, five, six hundred bucks. That's a big investment, um, especially when you think most ready-to-run cars, which is where a lot of us start, are five, six hundred bucks, and that's it's it's a lot of money. So it's kind of intimidating to spend that on one item, but it is definitely worth it. You will feel the difference in your hand, and. Uh, I promise you, if you take care of it, get a nice case for it, it will last. Um, I haven't, uh, knock on some wood, I haven't had any failures with any transmitters that I can think of um, from my way back starting. So I think the only thing I've ever had is I actually broke a trigger off of a, off of a radio I had that was a little, a little lower end and I was trying to smush it together so it would actually fit your finger. And that's where these things really come in. Like they can do all kind of like nice features and stuff like that, but just how it feels in your hand and how comfortable you are when you're driving, it will make the world a difference, I promise you. And like you can change the thickness. So you, basically you can get a nice fit on your finger. And like I said, that will make a difference. Just not having that gap from the transition when you're on throttle to go into, you know, to your brakes. It will make the world a difference. I promise you guys. So, yeah. I guess that's enough rambling. Um, I just wanted to kind of share my first impressions with the new radio or new transmitter. And this thing is beautiful. Um, anytime they come out with something new, I'm kind of always on the fence about it. I'm like, man, I don't know. It looks kind of odd because you get used to the old stuff. But this thing is amazing. I absolutely love it. All right, guys. That's pretty much it. I appreciate you for watching. And uh, I'll keep you updated uh, after living with this thing for a little while. I'll uh, make another quick little video telling y'all what I think about it, how it's holding up. But knowing the brand, I'm not expecting any issues. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Um, RC guys, there's going to be a lot of RC running in the future. So, please stick around because uh, it's going to get interesting. we got some cool stuff going on. So, all right. See you on the next one.